<laughs> hey everybody, this is Grumpy. I got a mail call today. And uh, the worst part of all of it is, is I had to carry this thing. But thank God I didn't have to carry it very far. I'm uh, going to show you what we got here. This is pretty easy here. But here's the hard part of it right here. It's mail call from Ranger Cookie. It's a mail call. And guess what? We have something very special for the grumpy guy. Now everybody remember, if you haven't seen the video already, I want you to go watch it. Ranger Cookie did a video on his vest that he did for survival. And uh, when we was at the rendezvous, we was talking about our vest and I've got one, but I don't have it down here with me right now. And uh, when he come over today with a mail call, Ranger Cookie bought some pouches for me to put on my vest and this is what we got here. This is a neat little pouch. I like this one. He had two of them. I wanted them both, but he wouldn't let me have them. Oh, crap. <laughs> you had a choice. Nah, he told me I could have whatever I wanted. But that one's got a drawstring on it. I could really like the drawstrings on there like that. I got it stuck. Don't get your finger stuck on one. You might have to cut it off. Got some <laughs> expandable elastic. Yeah, he showed me you could put a couple of lighters there. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, put your lighter there. Yeah. Look how awesome this is. Stick that right in there. You always got a lighter right there in hand. You I never thought of that. Digging around in your pockets. I don't have a ferro rod out here, but I got a ferro rod that'll fit right down in there. So that's a, a pretty handy little pouch. I like that one real well. I love this mail call. Hand delivery. I love hand delivery stuff. Save me from having to go to the post office. I like this little pouch. This is Molly compatible. Just a ammo pouch. Is that what you said this was? Ammo pouch? No, this one's ammo pouch. This is a. You just you know the thing with these pouches, you can put anything in them, and they'll they'll fit. They work out real well. So we'll I'm going to jump over to this one here. It's a good little pouch, and uh, we got a, he, he don't want to be on camera, but I, we got a, I got my uh, brother-in-law son over here. He's over there, he got a gun on me. And he said this was for like putting the, uh, the Israeli patches in, the Israeli bandages. That's what he's uh, a good for, huh? Yeah, that's what he said he's good for. I put 550 cord in mine. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. So I got a couple of them, so I can see where those are going to be real handy. And uh, cause I got a vest like Ranger Cookie, so I'm going to be rigging it up, and I'll do a video after I get it rigged up. And that'd be this is a canteen pouch. One of these days I'll get down to the surplus store and get me a canteen to put in it. If I knew you had not have one, I brought one. Damn you, boy! Yeah. <laughs> this, and I really like this one here too. This is a. I don't know, what was this, Jason? Was this an animal pouch? Is that what this one was? Yep. That, uh... There were two little pouches there on the side with the grenade pouches. Yeah, okay. I didn't know that. And he said these little pouches here on the side was where they dropped grenades in at, so... And it makes sense. Yep, we got your ammo and grenades right beside oh. you. Some really cool pouches. So, what are you going to fill them up with? I don't know. I'll have to just think about it as I go along. Wish we know this would be filled up with. That one's going to be a canteen for sure. This one here, I'll probably put on and put my uh, my saw in. There you go. That's why I have. So that's what I like about these here. It's got the velcro that's expanded, yep. and you can actually hook them up that. Like you got that. the smaller uh, saw, so that should fit yeah. right perfect, right? Yeah, there. mine's oh, small one, so. So I thought this, and these others, I don't know, just, uh, these are just going to have to be a mit, miss and hit and play with. And I put the 550 everything. cord in there. That's me, but that's, everybody has their opinion. Well, yeah, I, I may, may very well do that because I don't have, uh, I don't have anything small. You go in that pocket. Well, I don't have anything small 
to put the paracord in and everything else that I've got is, is all bigger stuff like this. Yeah, see, so I, I got 15 put, feet of paracord in mine, yeah. and it fits perfect in here. It could probably hold a little bit more paracord, maybe like uh, 50 feet. I never did a test to see how much rope I could put in here, but I do believe it can hold 15 so-so. Maybe a little bit more, it might, might, might make, work, make it work. And most of these, all of these in fact, I should say, still have the Alice clips on them. And the ones that don't have Alice clips are the Molly's. Molly compatible anyway, so yeah. I don't need the Alice clips anyway. Yeah. So. Bam! And I've noticed uh, on my vest, to got those Molly's too. You put one here, then you go in, then go over and it's like you have to go in and over both uh, of those yeah, yeah and yeah. i noticed it it was holding it better it was bouncing before so when i put it i weaved it one here one there you know went and it it held very tight to <coughs> the, uh, my vest and i can't wait to see his video on his vest with his new bags i bought a lot of them because uh, he told me he had one and i want to give him a gift I gave him a cool gift. And that's, uh, that's a cool thing, but appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, that's what, that's what, uh, this, uh, what the community is all about, is helping one another, show, show support of others that can't maybe can't afford such an item. Hey, I bought it for him. Money does mean nothing to me. It's friendship. Friendship is more important. Mm -hmm. I buy, I buy that. Friendship is way more important than anything else. You sure you don't want to come over here and sit and, and talk to everybody out there in YouTube land? <laughs> You'll only seen by, be, be seen by a few thousand people. <laughs> I'm talking to Jason sitting over there. Yeah, he is a little shy. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to end this video up by uh, wait till you see your video with your yeah. vest and where you go put your bags and where you put in them. Um, you know, this one, I had, for example, uh, a, uh, a tarp in one of them. I still got a tarp. Yeah. A tarp. I used up that tarp and I got, way. and believe it or not, try not to aim it towards you. I got my vest with me right here. And if he wants to go through my vest and see what's all about, only, I got some camouflage sleeves. This is for a bow. Um, I'm going to put this on the camera on the pipe whoops and i want time to build me uh uh some camouflage sleeves for this thing so tom i know you're watching hook me up i'll give you the measurements but right now i want to hook these uh camouflage sleeves i got from my bow and see if i can get that camo because it's like an eyesore in the middle of the woods and i just forgot my more water packs but everything's on it except for my camelback and my canteen, wherever it's hidden at. Over here. <laughs> but I have everything else on that baby. Let's take a look at all the goodies that grumpy guy got. He got two loot bags. Yeah. He got two different types. A water pouch and an ammo cap. I can't wait to see your, uh, your vest. And I hope you make a good vest. What you go? What you? You'll, uh, you'll you'll see a video. Well, we're gonna see. Hopefully, I'll, this hopefully this thing can week. All right, I'm gonna head and end this video. He's getting too long already. It's almost nine minutes and fifteen seconds. All right, I'm Reggie Cookie over here by Grumpy Guy. He's grumpy. He yelled at me. Why you come over here? I'm invited. Damn you, boy. All right, I'm Reggie Cookie, and I'm gonna say goodbye. <laughs> I wonder how fast I can go.